an undefeated record is on the line as Staten Island's Damian Rice takes on Sam Reese tonight when we swing on the star. And another cordial welcome to Star Boxing. I'm your host, Arnie Tokyo Rosenthal, joined as I always am by the commissioner, Randy Gordon. Randy, Damian Rice starts off with a 4-0 record, knocking people out, and then had an eight-year layoff. Comes back, but came back like he hasn't missed a step. Well, he has a lot of talent. You know, the streets, though, they caught up with him, and he uh, kind of paid his debt to society. But he is back with a vengeance. He's only about 30 years old, so there's still plenty of time to work with. He is a very gifted light heavyweight. His opponent, Sam Reese, comes up from Hampton, Virginia, with a 500 record. But he's a lefty, and again, not your typical 500 fighter, is he? Not at all. I mean, the guy's been around only a 3-3 three and three record. But because of that southpaw style, and he's always in top shape, he could give anybody at any time a real fight. And I think he just may do that with Rice tonight. A lot of boxing. Stay with us. We're back with our first bout on the star after these words. Star Boxing brought to you tonight by Sam's Floor Covering. And in this corner, the champion, Sam's. And by Punch Cigars, long on the puff and short on the drag. All right, welcome back to ringside. Arnie Tokyo Rosenthal along with Randy Gordon right now. That's Damian Rice. Undefeated Damian Rice from Staten Island comes in tonight 6-0 with four knockouts. Had that eight-year layoff between 93 and 2001 working for the state working for the state and uh, his opponent coming up tonight from hampton virginia the southpaw sam reese and reese with a 500 record three three and two but three knockouts devastating punching power took out vernon hines in his last fight this past december Coming right back here to take on Rice, who hasn't fought since last July. So we're looking at about a seven month layoff for him. And uh, having trouble getting up the ro ropes here. Not quite sure why Sam Reese is having his equipment adjusted outside the ring there, Randy, but. I couldn't Has tell. Has not made his entrance as of yet. Seems to be this roving downstairs. You know what I love about these weigh-ins that we went to? You always see the fight guy. Oh, my God, you haven't seen a guy in so many years. The man who manages, Reese, is a former manager of one of the greatest light heavyweight champions I have ever seen, one of the greatest action light heavyweight champions. Matthew Saad Muhammad, the man I'm talking about, his manager, former manager, Belial Muhammad, now works with Sam Reese. And there's Belial right behind him. And uh, for some reason, he's keeping him downstairs and not letting him get into the ring. This is unheard of. We'll get to the bottom of this. We'll have an investigation. Why is Sam Reese staying outside the ring? Dean Stone's in the ring waiting to make introductions. And now they're finally getting up the steps. And here he comes, Sam Reese out of Hampton, Virginia. 31 years old. Didn't turn pro till 96, had his own three-year layoff between 98 and 2001. And uh, this is his first start of 2002, as it is for Damian Rice. We're gonna get our official introductions now from our ring announcer, the dynamic Dean Stone. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout of the evening is Joe DeGuardia's star boxing featured bout of the evening. It is scheduled for six rounds in the light heavyweight division. The three judges scoring this bout on a 10-point must system will be Chick Hill, Julie Letterman, and Fred Ucci. After the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Sparkle Lee. Introducing first in the blue corner, wearing black, weighing 173 pounds, 
his professional record. Six victories, four coming by way of knockout with no defeats and one draw. Ladies and gentlemen, from Staten Island, New York, presenting Damien Trumbull Rice. His opponent across the ring in the red corner, wearing black and red, weighs in at 174 and three quarter pounds. His professional record, three victories all coming by way of knockout with three defeats and two draws. Ladies and gentlemen, from Newport News, Virginia, presenting Sam Vista Fury Reese. Obey my commands all the time. Touch gloves, guys. Good luck. All right, Sparkle League giving the instructions right now as we're getting ready for our main event on the star. And Randy, Damian Rice claims that he had Southpaw sparring to get ready for this, and it didn't make a difference. But I really wonder how many rounds of it he had and how many rounds of it he had. He trains out at Gleason's gym, and there aren't that many. Nope. 175 southpaws in the gym. I don't care what a guy says. If you're boxing a southpaw, I don't care. You can box all the right-handers you want. You've got to get in with a southpaw. Got to. Well, they say they're ready for this, but we're going to find out. And if he is, obviously, we'll be looking for the right-hand lead. And he switches southpaw himself, and maybe that's the way he's going to get ready for it. You know, there's only one guy who ever told me southpaws did not bother him, and his name was Sugar Ray Leonard. But then I guess when you have talent like that, what's the difference? Well, didn't bother him against Marvin Hagler. Probably one of the greatest southpaws of all time. But right now, they're both southpaws. As Damian Rice comes out very unexpected in a southpaw stance, and maybe that's how he's going to negate the supposed southpaw advantage of Sam Reese. Reese in the black and red, solid black. That's Damian Rice. How many times tonight do you think we're going to get our Reese's and Rice's mixed up? Well, Damian Rice started his pro career, as we mentioned, in the Open back in June of 93. Two-round knockout over Mike Cadu over in New Jersey. Ran up a 4-0 record. Actually make that 3-0 with one draw. And then uh, ran into a little trouble. Had to take eight years off and resumed his pro career May of last year and has uh, rattled off three straight wins. So there he is, 6-0-1 with four knockouts. But right now he's very tight. He looks very uncomfortable, does Damian Rice. Well, I think he's uncomfortable because he's not a southpaw. And yet he's coming out and trying to fight southpaw. If Unless there's something I missed. I mean, I was told he's a right-handed fighter. I, I, you know, from experience, the book has him as a right-handed fighter. He looks just very uncomfortable. Watch, every time he steps back, he'll tug at his trunks. He, he just bends at the waist a little bit. Let's see if he does now. And the way he's fighting as a, you know, in the southpaw stance makes me think that... There he goes, he's tugging at his trunks again. He just looks very, very uncomfortable. Maybe well, his cup is on too tight. Well, I think his cup when, is broken in a certain way because it's used to having his left foot in front <laughs> instead of his right foot. Impossible. And, you know, if he's trying to force it and he's not really a south point, he's trying to box like that, the punches are going to be pushed instead of just snapped out there. He's basically giving round one away. Well, maybe we can get somebody over to their corner and find out if, in fact, this is a strategy, or were we misinformed? There he goes again with the trunks. Nervous habit. A fairly even first round in spite of the fact that Rice is fighting Southpaw. Stay with us. More to come. Hey, boxing fans, come out for live boxing. Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing presents Rockin' Fights. For ticket information, go to starboxing.com or Ticketmaster.com. See some of the best young fighters. Star Boxing, Rockin' Fights, it's a knockout. Round number two. 
scheduled for six, and this is still continuing to be southpaws. And we say that with somewhat of a surprise because the book on Damian Rice was that he was right-handed. Coming out southpaw right now against Sam Reese, of course, the book on him was that he was southpaw. And uh, we're trying to find out, send some notes down to the corner between rounds, and nothing has come back to tell us whether this is a ploy or were we, in fact, misinformed. Nevertheless, Randy, it worked well enough that I scored the first round even, something that, you know, you know from working with me, I don't do very often, but I thought that was a very even first round. I thought that Damian Rice didn't really get the jab working from that side, whether he's used to it or not, I don't know. Power punches, though, certainly coming more from Sam Reese, and, and head's getting a little sloppy inside right now. Sparkle Lee's going to have to yeah. make sure, because those heads are starting to come together. Both fighters tending to rush in. Yeah, you, you can do it a few times, but sooner or later, those heads crack, and somebody steps away with a very severe cut. I can't believe you scored that even. I mean, I, I'm stunned. I'm going to have to remember this one. How this did, goes in my book. Just for the record, then, how did you have it? I gave the first round to Reese. I just thought he was a little bit busier, and I thought the only thing that really Rice did was pull up on his trunks. <laughs> well, halfway gone here, and he hasn't pulled up his trunks once yet in the second round. And if the Reese-Rice part is getting you confused, as it is us, Reese is in the black and red. Damian Rice from Staten Island, the undefeated fighter, 6-0. and He's in solid black. Starting to land that right hand nicely is Damian Rice. Both guys came into this fight rather dry, no sweat showing. Now, finally, they're, they're starting to glisten. Last fight for Damian Rice, won by disqualification over Charles Macorn. That was back in July. Not a good layoff for him, Randy, considering that he hasn't fought for eight years from 93 to 2001 to then take off July. Almost, we're talking about a seven-month layoff here. Exactly. When you come back after that kind of layoff, you just got to get back and erase everything that's happened before and get right back to work. No more layoffs. And he, had, he was very active fighting three months in a row with three wins. But then this long playoff. Much better second round for him, though. Can't get enough of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing? Download the Star Boxing TV app or check out our Roku channel to watch exclusive content and classic fights. Every punch, every knockout, every screen. The Star Boxing TV app gives you exclusive access to every moment of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing. Available on Apple, Android, and Roku. Just search Star Boxing to get in the ring. Round number three, and right now, my broadcast partner, Randy Gordon, on a mission over to the corner of Damian Rice to find out if, in fact, is fighting southpaw, and I think we've got our answer right now because he comes out in an orthodox stance this round, goes back to fighting righty, and now switches back to southpaw. And Randy's back from his mission right now, so we're going to get the story as it was given to him from the corner of uh, Damian Rice. And what'd you find out, Commission? Well, they say he's ambidextrous. They say, as far as they know, he writes with his right hand. They say, but he does a lot of things, both sides of the plate. So uh, tonight, I think we can expect some switching. While you were over in the corner, he opened up the third round for the first time in the fight in an orthodox stance. Didn't like it. Stayed in it for about 20 seconds and uh, continues to fight southpaw. And is having a fair amount of success at it. I gave him the second round. And so did I. So on your card, I would say uh, it's an even fight. And on my go. card, uh, having scored uncharacteristically the first round even, I'm I've got Damian Rice then up one round.
But right now, the is it just me or does, or does Sam Reese look a lot bigger and stronger, though? He certainly looks bigger. He's got him by, what is it, a pound and three quarters. He looks a lot taller and a lot bigger. Reese, two years older than the 29-year-old Damian Rice. And we're under a minute to go here in the third. And the pace has slowed down considerably, especially in the case of Rice. And now he goes back to the orthodox stance, Randy. And to me, it always appears that when he comes out of a clinch or out of any sequence that he wants to put the left foot in front. And he has to think about putting the right foot there where the left foot comes natural to him. But nevertheless, continues to fight this way. You're right. It looks like he's just kind of pushing everything out there. It's nothing seems to be coming natural. Reese is busy this round, and but Rice is not. Best, best round of the fight thus far for Reese. Reese taking control here. Rice looking a little fatigued in this round, certainly slowing down. We'll find out we're halfway gone in this sixth rounder. Ringside on Star Boxing, where we're brought to you tonight by Sam's Floor Covering, and in this corner, the champion, Sam's. And right now, we're in the second half of the scheduled sixth rounder, Damian Rice. He's in the solid black, undefeated record on the line here tonight against Sam Reese in black and red, coming up from Hampton, Virginia, to take on Rice, who's the Staten Island native, and a very good third round for Sam Reese. Pulls it even on my scorecard, Randy. Well, there's still plenty of time to go. I've got um, Sam Reese winning the first round and the third round. Damian Rice winning round number two. I've got Reese up by one point. I've got a dead even, and right now Sparkle Lee stopping the action, and I'm not exactly wow. sure what's going on. And we have the heads come together, apparently, and what a was cut that right now on Damian Rice. Is it is all coming from his nose? I think that was a punch, and to me that looks like a broken nose. Doc's in there right now taking a look. And, and Randy, right now, we're more than halfway gone. So by New York rules, if for any reason they would stop this and it doesn't appear that they're going to, we would be going to the cards and coming back out in an orthodox stance for about 10 seconds, and he's getting caught in the switches. That's what's happening here also. Damian Rice got caught in the switch just then. And he's now complaining to Sparkle Lee about the heads. Well, I don't think the heads, I've yet to see heads come together and cause a broken nose. I've seen headbutts cause cut eyes. I mean, I, I guess it could happen, just like a punch, but I thought I saw a punch in there land flush on the nose. Nevertheless, in the corner of Damian Rice is perhaps the best cut man in the business, Al Gavin. In my mind, not one of the best, the best. And uh, no argument there, and Damian Rice will no need to get back to the corner to give Al the opportunity to stop the flow of blood in the nose. And one of the things that will help him get there is combinations like that, which backs up Sam Reese. Sam doesn't look to be hurt. He's just hanging on inside there. Eyes look clear. Also, I know from my own experience, not just calling this, but in fights and unfortunately my nose bleeds at the weigh-in <laughs> you try you can no longer bleed uh breathe through your nose now you start breathing through your mouth the blood's flowing down the back of your neck which doesn't exactly feel great and with your mouth open if you get hit with a good shot you're going to get your jaw broken so true that's why you have to have a good mouthpiece bite down on the mouthpiece try to breathe through that great mouthpiece and if you try to blow your nose to clear it, what happens is the rush of air in the swelling area will automatically just shut your eyes. 
and yet a very tough thing not to do. You go to breathe through your nose, you can't get through it. Well, that's where the good mouthpieces come in because it enables you to keep your mouth closed and still breathe through your mouth without running the risk of breaking your jaw. Trying to buy some time right now is Damian Rice. In a lot of trouble with that perhaps broken nose. Continues to fight the balance of this round out of the southpaw stance after getting caught in the switchover. But uh, another dominating round for Sam Reese. Stay with us. We're swinging. Hey, boxing fans, come out for live boxing. Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing presents Rockin' Fights. For ticket information, go to starboxing.com or ticketmaster.com. See some of the best young fighters. Star Boxing, Rockin' Fights, it's a knockout. Well, as we start round number five, the drama that's in play here right now, again, an orthodox standing Damian Rice. Well, the drama, Randy, is will the blood stop flowing from that nose and will he be able to start breathing through it again? I don't know. I think that's going to keep bleeding. It looks like a pretty bad, whether it is broken or not, it's not stopping. And he switched back again to southpaw. Why even bother? Why come out righty for 15 seconds? He didn't even throw punches right here. And you mentioned before about the switching right in front of the fighter. A guy by the name of Marvelous Marvin Hagler, one of the greatest switch hitters in all of the history of boxing, told me when you switch, don't step forward, pull back away from your opponent. Good advice. Hey, when it comes from Hagler, you're getting great advice. Blood continues to flow again from the nose of Damian Rice. His undefeated status right now. On the line coming in tonight, 6-0, oh, one draw, four knockouts, but as we mentioned, has not fought in seven months, and that's after an eight-year layoff after putting three straight wins together. Reese's last fight just this last December. Four-round knockout over Vernon Hines down in Virginia. First time up to New York for Sam Reese. Ah, he said he got to see a little bit of the city. He's very impressed with it. He said, I really love New York City. I see why people say I love New York. I told him, you don't have to say that to me. I'm not scoring the fight. <laughs> Arnie and I don't count. We count. Well, I mean, we're not on the official scorecards, we don't. In my house, they watch this program. <laughs> right now, it's pace slowing down considerably. Certainly on the case of Damian Rice. And I know, Randy, again, from my own experience, as limited as it is, you can't get that air coming through your nose where you get more oxygen to your brain. You slow down. Everything starts to shut down on you. You start breathing through your mouth. It's just not the same. Oh, he certainly does appear to be slowing down. He's, he's just going from fast to slower to slower and slower. Well, under 30 seconds in this round, and Sam Reese starting to build himself a bit of a comfortable lead as he's certainly taking control of this fight. And things are once again switching lefty to righty. Is Damian Rice. Both fighters with good punching power, but Rice may need something big in the last round. Four knockouts in his six wins. Will he be able to do it? Stay with us. Can't get enough of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing? Download the Star Boxing TV app or check out our Roku channel to watch exclusive content and classic fights. Every punch, every knockout, every screen. The Star Boxing TV app gives you exclusive access to every moment of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing. Available on Apple, Android, and Roku. Just search Star Boxing to get in the ring. Sixth and final round. Been no knockdowns in the fight. Sam Reese's in black and red. Damian Rice, solid black. 
The drama, as we mentioned, in the fight has been a severe, possibly broken nose on the part of Damian Rice, which has certainly hampered him and slowed him down. And Randy, I've got him losing 49-47 going into the last round. How do you see it? A little bit wider than that, 49-46. Uh, uh, I've given four rounds to Sam Reese. Reese coming in tonight, the 500 fighter with a 3-3 and two record, three knockouts though, good punching power as evidenced by what he did to the nose of Damian Rice. Rice's undefeated status on the line. Rice fighting most of the evening from a southpaw stance, unexpected by us and perhaps unexpected by Sam Reese, who hasn't been bothered by it. Not at all. Sam looks just as fresh now as he did in the first round. In fact, I would have given him some advice between rounds. I would have told him, come out, stay on top of this guy. He's labored, his breathing is labored, he's having trouble, he cannot sustain a 180 second pace. Make him fight. You'll win this round big. Well, he's not far off the mark right now in, in the first minute of this round. As he's out punching perhaps 4-1, to 5-1 to one, Damian Rice right now. Oh, and a big left drops in there. Perhaps the best left hand of the fight by Sam Reese. Both guys really have not been hurt. Neither guy has been knocked down in this fight. But if there is going to be a knockdown, it looks like Rice is just going to fall down from exhaustion. He just doesn't look good at this point. I think he's really bothered by that injured nose, whether it's broken or not. And as I said, Randy, you know, it's the difference between, they say you want to breathe through your nose in boxing because more oxygen goes to your brain. It's a lot quicker. You start breathing through your mouth. Not only are you susceptible to a broken jaw from a shot, but you're just not getting the same. I know. I, I like getting that oxygen. Yeah. I don't mind it myself. <laughs> but we're well under a minute to go here in the fight. Sparkle Lee doing a real good job. Has, a, has been fairly inconspicuous throughout the evening. Let me tell you, I'd like to see her one day handle a big fight. I think she can do it. I think she's a very qualified referee. And keeping a good eye right now, this last round, both fighters starting to get tired. This is where the heads could really get sloppy and move it in. But Sam Reese continues to throw some really nice lefts. a lot more conviction than he had thrown the left in the earlier rounds. The legs of Rice are gone. He doesn't even want to move. He's standing no. right on the ropes. The legs He's are in survival gone. mode, although he did try to throw one last desperation right hand and take him out, but this one's in the books. And uh, some of that nosebleed blood is getting on uh, Randy in my uh, tuxedo shirt and on my score sheet. Always hard explaining oh, it to the dry cleaners. They want to know why yeah. my clothes are full of blood. Oh, I scare them. I, I, I come in with all these shirts, and they think I'm Lord knows I'm some kind of axe murderer or whatever. Speaking of axe murderer, Sam Reese pulling a bit of an axing on Damian Rice here. I've got it unofficially 59-56. Randy scoring it, I believe, 59-55. Mm -hmm. I've given one Rice to Damian Rice. One round. One rice? <laughs> One rice. I knew I was going to Rice, Reese, round. Ooh, Say that fast. Round number two I gave to Rice. Back at ringside, and we're going to get our official decision from our ring announcer, Dean Stone. Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds of light heavyweight action here at the Yonkers Raceway, Yonkers, New York, we go to the scorecard and have ourselves a split decision. Judge Julie Letterman scores this bout, 58-56 race. Judge Fred Ucci scores this bout, 58-57 Rice. And Judge Chick Hill has it, 59-56. For your winner by split decision, Sam Fury Reese. Well, a surprise split decision. One judge seeing it 
59-56. Similar to the way I had it, actually, for Sam Reese. Another one, 58-56 for Reese. And one judge going 58-57 for Damian Rice. But nevertheless, these fighters. Damian Drama Rice Sam Reese breaks the 500 border, and improving Sam, to 4-3-2. Three, Damian Rice dropping down to 6-1-1. One, one. His unbeaten streak is over. Stay with us. More to come. We're swinging on the star. When you have money problems, just going to the mailbox can be frightening. It's the same when the phone rings. You know it's another creditor. I thought bankruptcy was the only way out. And then I called Ameridad. Every day, Ameridad helps more people with money problems. We're a nonprofit organization offering free consultations to consumers seeking to eliminate their debt. Now my balances are dropping, and I only have one small monthly payment. Call this number regardless of your situation. Ameridad, helping America get out of debt. Hey, boxing fans, come out for live boxing. Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing presents Rockin' Fights. For ticket information, go to starboxing.com or ticketmaster.com. See some of the best young fighters. Star Boxing, Rockin' Fights, it's a knockout. Back live at ringside. And Randy, how surprised were you by that split decision? I was very surprised, Ronnie, because quite frankly, I thought that Sam Reese had won that fight going away. Now, let's talk a little bit about Damian Rice, who just lost his perfect record. How much of a problem is it for him making that switch? If he's going to really improve as a fighter, doesn't he have to set into be the, either being a lefty or being a righty and stop the switching? Look, a lot of guys like to be Marvin Hagler. He's not Marvin Hagler. He's a talented fighter who had a long layoff. Then he had another layoff. He can't do, be doing the layoffs. He's got to stick to one thing that works, get good at it. Then later on, maybe he can switch. It's just not going to work. Well, good performance, though, for Sam Reese. Look forward to seeing him back here on Star Boxing. For Randy Gordon, I'm Artie Tokyo Rosenthal. Good night, Carrie. I'm coming home.